Hi everyone, uh, this is Bob Brady. I'm the owner of Promotion Physical Therapy and today I'd like to talk a little bit about knee and hip arthritis. One of the misconceptions about knee and hip arthritis is that it's related to wear and tear. Now granted, there are some situations if you had a surgery when you were younger where you're more likely to develop arthritis later on in life. However, just because you were physically active when you were younger does not mean that that's the cause of your knee and hip arthritis. In fact, what we like to consider more now is that it's more uh, like rust and crust, meaning we get pain and disability in a knee because we stopped doing the things that we used to do when we were younger. Now, the reason we want to change this thought process about our knee is because when we think of things as being wear and tear, we're less likely to remain active and do exercises that will be very beneficial for your knee. So, when we look at what's the best treatment for knee and hip arthritis, we find that exercise or activity modification is one of the main things that really help people. So instead of thinking of your knee as being worn out and that I need to be careful with it, I, I need to stop doing the things that we want, what we try to promote in physical therapy and, and caring for people with knee and hip arthritis is that let's try to get you a little bit more active. Not only does this improve your general health, but it's found, been found to help with pain related to hip and knee arthritis. Now we're not going to change the arthritis, but we can change how you feel, we can change the pain levels, and we can help improve your function. So when I work with patients with hip or knee arthritis, we do one of two things. We either back off their activities if they've been aggravating it too much, or we try to promote some thigh strengthening, some hamstring strengthening, some hip strengthening, do some work on the knee or the hip to help uh, improve motion. We talk to you about lifestyle modifications, sleeping better, controlling your stress, and then we try to get you back to exercising. Now what this exercise involves is very individual. It depends on where you're at. There's no one prescription that fits everybody. We do it based off of how your knee feels and how, um, uh, how much activity you can tolerate, and then we progress from there. Not every knee and hip arthritis needs to lead to a joint replacement. Some of them definitely do, but many of them can be treated conservatively with the appropriate management and with the appropriate guidance. If you have questions or would like to talk to me, feel free to reach out. Thank you.